Hi everyone, today's quick fix is all about what is the best paintbrush to use when painting really slender stems on paintings. Well, I've narrowed it down to the rigger brush, which is the long slender bristles, and my four tenth brush, which is just my smallest brush that I use, and I love it because I get so much control over it. But there are times where I'd use one over the other, and I'm going to show you today exactly why. So the first painting example I've got here are my lovely cornflower paintings I did a while ago. Now if I wanted to paint a stem that long in one nice fluid action as much as I would get nice control starting off with this brush the trouble is yeah, well, there are two problems with this. The first is I would run out of paint because if you look at how much capacity to hold paint these two brushes have, that's only teeny weeny and that one has just got loads more space because those bristles are basically soaking up the, and holding the water and the paint in them. Um, so that's the first problem. And then the other one, because when you paint with a, a teeny weeny brush, you're, you're quite close in, your hand is really close to the page and you sort of, you start painting and then your hand sort of runs out of room so then you have to sort of take your hand off and, and start again and it just starts creating a rather sketchy line. So therefore, I would recommend using for this kind of painting the rigger brush because it allows you to paint in lots of lovely long slender lines but you can also see that my hand is quite happily off the page and I feel like I've got a lot of control with this one and it's because of the sort of bouncy springiness of these bristles. My hand could wobble and the uh, suspension basically in the length of those bristles will allow for my hand to wobble but for the smooth line that I'm painting not to be too affected. So long slender lines like that I definitely go for the rigger brush. However if I compare it with a painting like this where we've got lots of very um, fiddly little uh, stems. Yes, they're nice sort of slender lines, which the rigger brush would be great for, but there's loads of places where they stop and start. So actually each line is quite short. And if I got the rigger brush in here and started, there's every chance that I would sort of lose control of it and I wouldn't be able to stop with pinpoint accuracy and precision as I would with my little four tenths brush you see so I can just start drawing in a shape and then I might want to stop and pop a leaf in and that's the other thing if you wanted to be painting leaves on your stem as you went the four tenths brush is pointed round so it can still do lovely lovely leaf details and now if I come up to there all the control in the world really really nice and then starting off again really good whereas with the rigger brush I would really worry and then I can do cool things like this putting the leaf in behind so for occasions like that I would definitely use the little four tenths brush. So that is my quick fix for you today, just showing you the difference between the skills of these brushes and what their strengths and weaknesses are. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you again next time.